welcome to Youth in Agriculture. My name is Marion Munyao Nganga. Now, we had talked about rabbit some time back, and guess what? Today we are back again with that topic by a different farmer telling us about her experience. Her name is Masi Monene, located here in Utawala, and she has so many rabbits, so many breeds, from Havana to New Zealand white, I mean, to Flemish, yes, Flemish giant. She says it's not Flemish, it's Flemish. Meskeyo. <laughs> Karibu sana kwenye show and remember if you want us to come to your farm you can definitely tweet us, you can definitely DM us at KTN Home underscore at Marion underscore the agri producer. Let's have a nice show shall we? Karibu kwenye show. Thank you so much. You've talked about three breeds or I have talked about three <laughs> breeds. <laughs> Look at me giving credit to myself. That is the Flemish giant, mm -hmm. that is the Havana mm -hmm. and New Zealand white. What are other breeds do you have? Uh, we have New Zealand whites. I've mentioned it. The, oh, you mentioned it. Yeah. <laughs> California whites. Definitely. We have Checker Giants. Mm -hmm. We have Dutch. We have, um, yeah. And all other cute ones. Like, <laughs> <laughs> That's what's giving me right now. Uh, yes. No problem. Okay, so now all these breeds, what directs the naming? Is it the fact that if it's California white, it has to be white? Mm -hmm. Or uh, the Flemish giant, it has to have Flemish eyes like that one over there. It has big eyes. <laughs> uh -huh. So we have uh, the the breeds are named according to where they came from. Yeah, most of them oh. are yeah. Mm -hmm. Like we have California white, it came from California. We have uh, New Zealand white, it came from New Zealand, and such other. <laughs> this place, yeah. eh? A lot of development has happened. I mean, so many rabbits. Now I'm curious. Did you st think of doing rabbits while you were young? It's one of the things I wanted to do, but I didn't know where to start from and how to do it. Yeah. So when I was doing my urban farming, which is organic farming, yeah. uh, some of the most important inputs that we use for our organic farming is the rabbit urine and mm -hmm. rabbit manure. Yeah. But now I wondered, where do I get it from? And I thought, is it something that I can actually be able to, to have for myself? because it was not going to be sustainable mm. buying from other farms mm -hmm. so that is how i started my rabbit farm and uh we started with six rabbits and uh here we are <laughs> mkulima before we go to the here we are part now let's let me take you back a little bit from where you are a kid yes w were you a pet loving kind of child or ulikowale wae kambuzi kadogo ni rafiki yako because i mean rabbits yes. and uh -huh, tell us about it i love pets i basically love rabbits and baby goats oh, so you know that's wow. that's they're so cuddly and nice and yeah. you know portable and all that uh -huh. in fact uh, my children have borrowed from that and now they started adopting they adopted a cat from the hood <laughs> which <laughs> which gave us kittens and now our house is uh, full of kittens and yeah. are you serious but here we are <laughs> yeah so, i think uh -huh. they uh -huh. started uh one of them started really you know bringing it home slowly giving it food and this mother realized allah this is a home where I can even... <laughs> and now we have kittens in the house, which is not part of the plan, but... <laughs> Here we are, we have kittens, we have rabbits, we have what's yeah. So I can imagine you are sneaking in some little baby goats <laughs> to your mother. I was like, in a nanny. Is... <laughs> now here we are, they are oh. now bringing in things. <laughs> Why do you love animals? Uh, one of the things that... Actually, you, you get to learn a lot from animals. Yeah. You learn to be patient. You learn some some of these things you learn, and you get to understand that when we when we have animals, mm. there's some certain characteristics we get to learn from them. Yeah. Being patient, as you can see, they just all they need is love, attention, and you know food, of course. But you know they're not so, paying taxes, so <laughs> that's the thing. Yeah. But how mm. they pay for it is uh, that we slaughter them when it's time to. Are yeah. rabbits calm? They are, most mm -hmm. of them are, uh, mm -hmm. and, but over, over time some of them start having some certain characteristics when they get to a place and they realize this is where I belong, this is, you know, oh. where I am. Oh, so they yeah. feel comfortable and then they get to expose their realness. Now they're real. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. but most of them are calm. Mm -hmm. yes. Do they have personalities apart from being calm? Yeah, they are. They, oh. they, they are different. Yeah. Like when you look at the different breeds, mm. you find that they have different personalities. Mm -hmm. Like there's one, there's a certain type, a yeah. Dutch. Yeah. I have the a Dutch. Dutch breed. Yeah. 
from oh, Germany. Germany, baby. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey, they have a knows Germany, so. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes. So what happens is, it just, whenever you open the door, just a little bit, it will open the whole door and then now it will just jump out. Getting it <laughs> is drama. Wow, wow, wow. So I always ensure that whenever I have all my Dutch breeds are normally very safely secured. Is yes. that something that Germans do or <laughs> anyway? <laughs> <laughs> away from that eh? how do you know that the rabbits are not well oh they mm. have they have signs and symptoms yeah. you can tell when they are sick mm -hmm. because normally they would be very active when you come in the morning when i come in the morning they normally have this you know they have this active self they play around like, they like that one around. you see that one <laughs> You're talking about personalities? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and yes, some what? will leave the door open and they won't uh, even leave there. Oh. They like to hop and jump around. They like to explore the environment. So that is why it has decided to blow the roof and get to go right up there. It. Yes. Oh no, my God. <laughs> we are going to get into the housing in just a bit. <laughs> but you're talking about something to do with breeds and personalities. Before yeah. I cut you short. Yeah. So, uh, for example, the New Zealand breed, is it something that a farmer can start with when it comes to rabbit farming? When someone wants to start rabbit farming, yeah. there are certain breeds you need to have. Exactly. And that is because of their, the, how, how prolific they are in terms of like how many they can give back to. Yeah. And basically what are you looking at as a farmer? Mm -hmm. How much? What are you looking at? For, because for different farmers, yeah. like you'd find someone who wants to start with a expectant mothers because they oh. have their housing mm -hmm. in place. Mm -hmm. They have everything in place. They just need to start. Yeah. But there are some who don't know you know, how does it go, how, they, how to feed them and all that. So those ones, we advise them to start with the very small ones so that they can grow together. Yeah. By the time they start uh, mm -hmm. breeding, which will be at five to six months, mm. then they are kind of comfortable yeah. with seeing a number of them. Because uh, what happens is with rabbits, they give back to around eight to 12 kids. Yeah. So at any one time, mm. you could be having one rabbit today, tomorrow you have nine. What do you do? And they need mm. the care, the attention, mm. the food, the water, mm. the, you know, yeah, the environment to be clean. Yeah. What kind of house do they live in? Um, you can create, what we have done here, we have made self-cleaning cages. And the reason is that rabbits like cleanliness. If a place is untidy, mm. they get sick quite often. Mm -hmm. So one of the things we do uh, when we are doing rabbit farming, and especially yeah. now with our clients, we build cages for them and we ensure that they are self-cleaning. Yeah. So we are able to collect the urine, collect the manure, and ensure that the place is always clean and dry. Mm -hmm. When it comes to self-cleaning, I can see you have gutters there, and then there's, yes. there's a space where I believe the urine can drop, can yes. pour through, can pour on, and also the droppings. Is that what you really mean by that? Yes, it means mm -hmm. that the rabbit needs a place that is clean, yeah. full, of, uh, full of fresh air, uh -huh. and that means when you look at the cages, uh, it should be able to absorb, mm -hmm. remove all the poop, yeah. all the urine, and so the rabbit is always in a place that is clean and full of fresh air. The house is also raised. Why? Yes. Uh, because of uh, predators like rats, cats. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Now, the wire mesh on the windows, I can call them windows, of course, <laughs> <laughs> apart from uh, providing light to the rabbits, what other purpose is it for? Rabbits need a lot of fresh air. Mm like human beings and this is because their urine normally has a lot of urea and you know this it's very mm. the smell mm -hmm. if you were to get here in the morning yeah i know you'd be like no we can't get in there but why this is money i know <laughs> i mean not everyone would, is used to that yeah. kind of a smell mm -hmm. you get in and the first thing that hits you is yeah. that strong smell mm -hmm. so what happens is we have to ensure that it's always clean so if they don't have a clean and a place that is full of fresh air they really struggle. Mm. Yours is a house inside a house. Yes. And then your floor, of course, it's cemented. Is there a specific reason to, for that? So rabbits mm -hmm. normally require a clean place. Mm -hmm. And one of the ways to ensure that the cleaning work will not be so hard is mm. to ensure that from the housing, it is self-cleaning. To the, to the main house, where they are housed away from the dogs, predators like dogs, uh, snakes, rats, mm. and all this. Oh, back to that point. That again. is, yeah. You yeah. have to ensure that they are safe from the environment mm. and also from other predators.
I really like to know about their feeding. What exactly to, do they eat? Is it their pellets or is there a supplement like the grass that we have seen you give them? But we are just about to go on a short commercial break. Remember today we are all about rabbit farming with Mukulima Masi Monene who is located here in Utawala. More to come including feeding, including the diseases that she has touched a little bit on on the first part and of course the money part of it. Don't go away.